I, ha I have to do uh, a couple of stories about jokes because for comics, that's our stock and trade, that's our currency, that's our cash, jokes. And I, from the beginning, uh, loved guys who, who wrote great jokes, you know, uh, 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 guys who, who had that superior, uh, Kevin Rooney, who I talked about earlier, guys who had that, those, the great writing skills. I loved, I loved the smell of new jokes more than anything. I loved it. I loved new jokes, and I was from the, immediately, as soon as I started doing it, I was on the lookout for jokes. You know, I'd be at a party. If somebody said something funny, I'd go into the bathroom. I'd lock the door. I always had a notepad. I wrote stuff down. It didn't matter. I just was obsessed with jokes. Uh, I'd find them anywhere. I remember one time uh, I was in a group home. I was in a group home, a bunch of guys living together, going to law school at the time, and this guy was one of those real, uh, you know, he was sort of like a, uh, you know, um, he, he, he was real precipity, you know, and, and he put notes on the food in the refrigerator. And one night he put on his leftover pizza, he said, hi, I'm Frank the pizza, and I'm waiting for Larry to come home. So I ate the pizza and put another note, said, Frank couldn't wait anymore, he left. <laughs> right? 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 So I, I did that. I did that joke on stage, and it worked. And then one night he came and saw me do the joke, right? <laughs> And he had no sense of me coming out because you know you owe me for that pizza. <laughs> but I love jokes, and I remember going to the, um, I remember going to see uh, Earth Day on on the on the Washington Ball, like 1978 or something. And they had all these bands playing. It was Bonnie Raitt and Jackson Brown, and, and this was right after the Three Mile Island thing. So every once in a while, everybody was chanting. The whole crowd would chant, "No nukes, no nukes, no nukes." And we're standing there, and mostly it was just people throwing frisbees and smoking weed. And this guy next to me was real stoned. And finally, at one point, he turned to me and said, Hey, man, when them no nukes going to play? <laughs> All I had to do was pull out the notebook and write that one down. 